Hi there, my name is Krista and this is my review of the Tom Bin Field Journal. So this fantastic little thing is a designer's dream. So I work as a knitting designer and that means that I'm doing a lot of sketching, a lot of note taking. Um, I'm often on the go when I am working because for me being a designer also means being a teacher, also means having a couple other jobs and along with regular day to day life. I tend not to always be working in one specific place. So a field journal is kind of like an office on the go. Let me show you how I have it set up for my work. Unzip, show you the inside. All right. So my essentials include pens and pencils, highlighter. Tom Bin is awesome. They include a ruler, which is great for measuring knitting swatches. And in this wider pocket, what I'm keeping here are things like darning needles. If I'm just at the end of a project and I have uh, tails to darn in, I use this. And the all ever important is giant measuring tape. If I'm doing a sweater, I need to know if I've hit the measurement up to the armpits yet or to make sure that my chest measurement is wide enough that I've not gone horribly, horribly astray. Also, crochet hook, pencils. I would probably tuck a lip balm in there as well if I was using this as a purse. Behind the handy dandy pen flaps, there is a slot. And what I've tucked in here is my needle gauge. So that goes away. You could also put a little tiny uh, notepad or some graph paper now on this side. I haven't started using it yet because I've been waiting to get some of the graph paper inserts from them. But what it has right now <laughs> is just a plain lined paper. And this is really lovely quality paper here. I was doodling. I love Tom Bin forever. <laughs> One of the cool things that they've designed into this journal is this extra piece, piece of um, super hard plasticky stuff. If you go to their website, I'm sure they will tell you what it is. But what it means is that you can flip it open onto your pens, which are all bumpy and lumpy, but the wonderful piece of hardness <laughs> means that you can write on both sides of your page to make them go farther. So for me, when I'm designing, I normally have on one side a sketch and all the details, and then on the other side I start making notes about the actual stitch counts, or if I've got graph paper handy that I'm starting to draw the charts for the various motifs or lace or whatever in, at that point in time. Now, I'm not going to show you this mechanism because I am clumsy tonight, but this little part with the elastic and the tabs this can come out and flip over and be used by left-handers with a little bit less in the way when you're trying to write. I'm right-handed, don't need to do it. If you go to the Tom Bin website, you can see a review there where they actually do show you exactly how the mechanism works in the field journal to flip it from left hand in, uh, from right hand into left hand usage. So other cool things, front zippered pocket with a very stylish little curve line. It's not everything straight. What I've got in here is one of their key cords. It has a different name and I keep on forgetting what it is. I call them bobs, but a um, little thingy that hooks onto all of the O-rings that come in every Tom Bin device and then hooks onto an organizer pouch. This does not come with it, so, but it's a fabulous add-on to your order. This is one of their clear pouches. So I've got my sewing needles, I have stitch markers, I have lockable stitch markers. Everything a knitting designer could want. With this in place, and zip closed. There's still room for more. It's not a really horribly deep pouch, but I could certainly put in another mini organizer full of stuff. I could slip in my cell phone or MP3 player, um, possibly another little note journal and some granola bars and some tastiness. Unfortunately, no room for a travel mug on this one, but it does in the back also have a slip pocket. And what I've put in here is one of the small organizer pouches. And this one contains things like my business cards, money, and my cell phone. So that comes in. There isn't an O-ring on the back, but if you did want to do some internal organizing, there's another one there. I've only found the two so far, <laughs> but after I've done some of my reviews, I've had people tell me that there's additional O-rings hidden in the Tom Bin bag, so I'm looking even harder. But uh, for carrying ease, it has a double handle, keeps everything closed. It also has this really cool strap. Now, I'm probably just going to be using this like a messenger style bag if I'm just running out for a quick trip to the store or down to the library to do some research on some upcoming designs. I would jam my wallet in here and just off I go. 
um, if I was actually going to be going somewhere and specifically working on inspiration, the strap is designed to function when the bag is open, that this goes back around your shoulder and actually then provides support to use the field journal kind of like a desk. So if I was going to a fashion show and I wanted to be doing some sketches when I was watching the, idea, the, uh, the designs go by because I had all these ideas rumbling around in my head, the journal would be supported in front of me and that would work really well. Okay. Um, other fantastic things I need to let you know about is that there's paper options. So it comes standard with either the lined paper or with the graph paper. Or for a little bit extra, you can get some watercolor in there. So if you're the type of person to actually do pen and ink and watercolor sketches, and I've seen some people's blog posts, I know some other designers who refer to as collectors as well, do these fantastic illustrations. Um, I don't go quite that far personally, but for those of you who do, go for the watercolor pad instead. It is, like all things made by Tom Bin, of fantastic quality. All the seams are finished inside and out. It's made down in Seattle with local staff, and they do most of their sourcing as much as possible from within the USA. The things that they do get from overseas are all eth ethically sourced and of top quality. I love Tom Bin, and if you want to see more reviews of mine, you can go to my YouTube page or chat with me on Twitter or Facebook and kind of nosing around in the Tom Bin forums because, you know, I love Tom Bin. It's awesome. Anyway, i um, love to hear what you think about this. If you have one of your own or if you have any questions about this, do let me know and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.